The next time we get a few inches of fresh snow, you might consider cross-country skiing. And if you're looking for an alternative to skiing in one of Minnesota's state parks, you might consider Speedall's Ski Guard near Erhard in rural Ottertail County. We came here on a beautiful winter day and as you can see, we weren't alone. After the crowd thin, we visited with owners David and Cindy Speedall. If my father was pronouncing it, he would say Shigor, which is uh, his Norwegian dialect, and Gard is a uh, farm in Norwegian, so it's Speedall Ski Farm. But my mother uh, noticed uh, that there was a piece of property for sale in the paper, and she said to my dad, we should go take a look at it. And they came out, and in 1975, they purchased 160 acres here. And uh, that first year, my cousin Rodney and I stayed out here, and uh, we both had moved back from the West Coast, and we were involved in alpine skiing out there. But, but here, this Minnesota's uh, way better suited for Nordic skiing rather than alpine skiing. So, we actually uh, purchased about 20 pairs of wooden skis and we bought a snowmobile and made a track setter and uh, used some of the existing township roads, that, that old township roads that, that uh, go through our woods here and, and that's how it began. Today we're skiing on 350 acres. We're skiing on, uh, we lease 80 acres to the far east and then uh, Cindy's dad has 60 acres to the south and then we have uh, uh, the balance is, is acreage that we own. So it's a, it's a, a good amount of uh, land to ski on and it's about all I want to groom. There are about 25 kilometers of trails. You know, we're in the glacial moraine region, so it's, it's the pretty rolling hills area of Otter Trail County. And uh, because of that, you know, there are, there are hills out here, so it's it's hard to actually define beginner's trails or create beginner's, beginner's trails. So we have basically just two beginner's trails and then the rest are intermediate and expert trails. So you're, you are going to get some hills when you ski out here. Uh, we also uh, have a variation of uh, heavily wooded areas and, uh, and then areas that were, were once a pasture and they've kind of gone back to to a uh, natural state, so it's a little more open in some areas and in, others, in other areas it's well wooded. There are two different types of skiing that, uh, that people do uh, when they're Nordic skiing. One is called the classical technique, uh, that's the old striding method. It was uh, a technique that's, that uh, has been used for thousands of years, I guess. And, and anyway, uh, a number of years ago, somebody started, uh, in a race, started pushing off to the side with one of their skis. It was, and, and that became known as the marathon skate. And then a couple of years, or maybe the same year, somebody jumped right out of the track uh, in a race and started just skating on their skis, pushing to the side like a speed skater and uh, skate skiing was, was born. Uh, that technique kind of took over the, the sport from a competitive standpoint for a while, but now the sport has returned and it's pretty even, evenly divided between classic and skate. So out here we uh, have trails that are groomed for both skate skiing and classic skiing. They're called combination trails. They have a track on the side of the trail and then there's a wider flat area that's used for skating. The nice thing for classical skiers to have the trails groomed that way is if they get to a steep hill, they're not locked into a track. They can step out of the track and they can snowplow down the hill and control their speed. So it lets classical skiers go on trails that maybe they wouldn't be able to otherwise. The development of the trails out here you know, has been an evolution. It started out, like I mentioned, with just a single track uh, on maybe an old logging road and then we had very narrow trails that kind of wound their way through the woods. We always have tried to follow the natural terrain and not do too much uh, 
altering of the of the natural terrain. So we, so you end up following draws uh, when you're climbing up out of a low area, or uh, uh, going along on ridges for some of the descents. Um, now the trails have have gotten to the point where they're they're much wider because of this whole skating aspect. So it's uh, the trails aren't as narrow, and, and uh, some people might complain that they're not quite as intimate, and I would agree that they, that they, they probably are not. But you are typically surrounded by the woods, so you, you're, you're out in the woods, and, you're, and uh, you know, there's, there are trees everywhere, and uh, the beauty of nature. Yes. I was surprised at how many young people were out skiing when we stopped by to film this story. I asked Cindy if it was family day at Speed All Ski Guard. One of the programs that uses Speed All Ski Guard as their base of operations is what's called the Minnesota Youth Ski League. We have a wonderful group of families from Ottertail County, primarily from Fergus Falls, that have signed their kids up for the program. Thanks to a wonderful second grade teacher in Fergus Falls, John Damuth has been heading up the program and he's just been doing a wonderful job. And what we're trying to do is just get people excited about the Nordic skiing, cross country skiing, and showing them the classic skiing and then the skate skiing and just having a lot of fun. So it's all volunteer. So all these parents that are out here, all the coaches that are out here are volunteer trainers. And we got kids in five groups. Some of them are just ages, ages second grade to sixth grade. Okay, but I mean the skiing out here is great. I mean, all the they give you different trail opportunities. I mean, it's just great skiing out here. And then after what we're hoping is after they get done with this, that they love it enough that they keep either going into the high school program or as lifelong sports. So. Now in our third year, we had 35 kids signed up for the program, so it's just been growing by leaps and bounds. About 15 years, the high school ski team has been in existence, and again, that has been a program that has depended on volunteer help, um, volunteer coaching. So um, these two programs, the youth program and the, and the high school ski team, dovetail pretty nicely. We're hoping that these younger kids that have been with the Youth Ski League now will sort of move on into the high school ski team and just keep that program going strong. And so it's been a lot of fun. And fun it is. As more skiers come to check in, we'll say goodbye for now. But if you're looking for some winter fun, come try out over 16 miles of groomed trails in the rolling hills of Speedall Ski Guard in rural Ottertail County.